everyone, Ragai Slytherin here with yet another Harry Potter review. Today we have the entire Sorcerer's Stone action figure range by Mattel. I've also included in the Quidditch team figures that were released in 2002. Or wait, 2001. One of the two. <laughs> but I thought I'd start off the review with the three chase figures on the line. We have Remember All Malfoy, who's just regular Malfoy with the Remember All, which is a very incredibly tiny, easy to get lost, plastic queer ball. Go ahead and pack it away so it doesn't get lost. <laughs> okay. Overall, I'd give Remember All Malfoy a, like, 3 out of 10, because it's just, it's a rip-off. It's regular Malfoy with the Remember All, which is a tiny little ball. Anyway, um, we've got Quidditch Harry, which was released in several different variations. We have some with the Gryffindor crest, some with without, some with silver glasses. This is actually the Quidditch Team Harry, so it comes with black glasses. It comes with the broom, which has a little finger thing on the back so you can make these fly. Overall, I'd give this figure, I'd give this one a 6 out of 10. It's not very articulated, it comes in like a pre-pose. And it has limited uh, uses. Uh, this one's Quidditch George. It comes with the Beater Bat. Uh, this one, these two come with uh, Gryffindor Cress, Broom. Um, the likeness is kind of there. I'd give this a 6 out of 10 as well. Just because it, it doesn't have any arm joints or anything. It's made for one purpose, really, in one pose. Uh, this is Quidditch Fred, same exact as George, just different name on the package. <laughs> same rating for him. The next one is a really, really nice one. Mm -hmm. It is one of the deluxe creatures of the line. This is Fluffy, the three-headed dog. It's pretty articulated, especially for a three-headed dog. All heads move. The Jaws move. The front two legs move in just one spot. The back two legs move in just two spots. So if you wanted to, you could probably have this like that on its hind legs. Just awakening from a slumber. <laughs> it also comes with the base. It comes with the trap door. Which I thought was really cool. The next figure is Ron Weasley. There are several variations. There's regular Ron, and then there's Ron with the Gryffindor crest. Overall, I'd give this a 7 out of 10 rating because it looks like Rupert Grant did in Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone, and the technology back then to scan actors' likenesses and turn them into an action figure was a lot more new, but um, it looks it looks pretty well for the time and everything. He comes with Scabbers, but Scabbers is actually in a different baggie in a different box, so I apologize for that. Um, here's Invisibility Cloak Harry. This is one of my favorites of the line. This one is a definite standout. I'd give this, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. It's very, very cool, very detailed. If you take the cloak off, then you have just a regular Harry with the same exact legs, arms, and pose as uh, the regular Gryffindor Harry. But overall, Invisibility Cloak Harry is one of my favorites. Just one second, trying to get his cloak back on. <laughs> okay. This figure here is Voldemort. Now, this figure is not much different than the other Voldemort with the garlic, except this one has a bright green face, and the package was labeled Voldemort. If you turn the head around, you have Quirrell, and the turban is bright purple. I really like this figure, even though it's not movie accurate. I think it's really unique. Um, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. It's not very poseable. The arms, the hands, uh, the, uh, the the waistline, sorry, the upper legs, the ankles, or, um, not the ankles, the, uh, the knees. I, I'm sorry, it's late. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. And uh, that's about it. But the quirrels don't stand very well. That one's Voldemort. 
Um, next we've got Severus Snape. And he comes with two potion bottles, which are an accessory bag in a different box. He is not poseable whatsoever. I'd give this a 4 out of 10. It kind of looks like Alan Rickman, but it looks too nice. It, um, the look on the face isn't too menacing. Um, he can move at the waist. He can move at the top of the arms, the hands, head, legs underneath, but they're not very poseable with the bottom of his clothes. Uh... Overall, he's not very posable whatsoever. He's just made for one pose to hold two different potion bottles. He doesn't come with a wand or anything, which is a real shame. The next figure is Gryffindor Harry. And this particular Harry that I have out of the package has a Gryffindor crest. And as with Ron and some of the others, there are two different variations with and without crest. There isn't really a big rarity factor in either. It's just something that people like to throw in there to try and get the auction to sell on eBay usually. <laughs> but um, here is Hedwig. It's a really cool accessory. It goes right into the hand. It also comes with the wand. And these, oh, one thing I should mention is all these figures came with something called Casting Stones. And they went to a larger game called the Power Caster Playset. Or you could play just them individually with a little mat. Um, this figure here is Gryffindor Hermione. She comes with school books as her accessories. She is incredibly hard to stand, so the Power Caster playset also comes with three figure stands for Hermione, Quirrell, and there's a third figure. Um, oh, it was Snape, but um, I don't know why the base was in the bag. It's probably in the accessory bag in the different box. But she comes with her wand, and uh, she's not very puzzled at all. She um, just has joints at the top of the arms, the hands, um, the uh, waistline, and the tops of the legs, and of course the head. The next figure is, oh, Hermione would get a, I'd give her a 4 out of 10, she doesn't look really like Emma Watson, and Harry would get 5 out of 10, because it doesn't look, really look like Daniel Redcliffe, and the pre-pose is kind of lame. I mean, it's Harry, and he's just kind of, hey, I'm Harry. <laughs> holding an owl, holding a wand. <laughs> the next one is Griphook. Griphook is actually a cool figure. I thought it'd be kind of lame, but uh, when I was a kid, of course, these all came back out, or came out in 2001. Uh, he's not very posable, um, but he does come with this really cool little mine cart. And uh, some slime and a cauldron, because he actually was released at the same time as the Slime Chamber playset, which came out in 2002, which is based on the Chamber of Secrets book, and has redos of all the Sorcerer's Stone figures with new paint jobs. The next is Hagrid. Hagrid is a standout in the line. He comes with... Oh! <laughs> a flying dragon. He comes with uh, Norbert, uh, half-cracked out of her egg. And, um, just Awakening, and also the pink umbrella. The likeness on this is absolutely wonderful. It looks just like Robbie Coltrane. The coat detailing is nice. The next figure is the Mountain Troll. Oh, by the way, Hagrid. Hagrid is a standout, so he gets a 9 out of 10. And Dumbledore has just fallen over. The Mountain Troll is an incredibly nice figure as well. Um, incredibly good details on this thing. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Um, it's possible at the tops of the arms, hands, and the legs. He, uh, oh, the Mountain Troll also comes with a Hogwarts sink that you can demolish with his club. Okay, the next figure I am going to review is the Albus Dumbledore figure. It does come with the sorting hat. I don't actually think it... No, it doesn't have the face sculpted into it. Well, I guess it's before you put it on someone's head. <laughs> the likeness on this one's really good too. Mine came with malformed glasses. I have another one in the package, but... Um, I thought this figure's really cool. The hand is actually backwards. Like, if you look at the two hands, it's the same exact hand. I just... 
I was real young when I used to have these out, so I just noticed that they gave him the same, same hand to be posed behind his back. Hmm. In fact, there was a rumor that these were the same arms, but on closer inspection, this one actually is different than that one. But overall, it looks like Richard Harris. It is not very poseable, just the arms, not even the head, because the beard is so big. And it comes with the sorting hat, so I would give that one a 6 out of 10. Next up is Slytherin Mouthboy. Two different versions, two different crests. Slytherin uh, crest and blank uh, jacket, or blank robe, I apologize. And it's just upper arms, hands, head, uh, upper leg, mid leg, and that is it. He comes with a wand as well, but it is in the accessory bag, I think. Here is Quirrell Voldemort with the garlic. Um, it, this figure was everywhere. I mean, this one, this one goes really cheaply on eBay, but it has a muted green face, and it also has Quirrell on the back. And finally, we have Professor Quirrell himself, but this one does not have a Voldemort head. This is just plain Quirrell, awkward, um, stuttering Quirrell. <laughs> no Voldemort. Um, he has um, posability at the top of the legs, the knees, the arms, and the hands. And the head, but only slightly. Okay guys, that is the Sorcerer's Stone Harry Potter line. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see anything else, please leave a comment. And uh, ask me below and maybe I can do a review video of something else if there's anything in particular you want to see. And also be sure to subscribe and um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.